How do you use the knee levers on a pedal steel guitar? Well, you, you use them in the same way that you use the pedals, basically, because they change, as the pedals do, they change the pitch of the strings. So it's a question of understanding what, uh, what role these various uh, alterations can play uh, and, um, and how best to use them. The knee lever, uh, first knee lever you could use is the E raise. And when used in combination with an A uh, pedal, this gives you a major chord. Uh, it gives you a major chord three frets above the root position. So since we're in an E tuning, open is G uh, is E, uh, and third fret is G. Now three frets higher than that, as I just said, if I have the A pedal engaged and the F and the uh, F lever, as it's called, because it raises uh, the E's to, from E to F, that's a major. Uh, that's a G chord again, a G major chord. On the E lowers, uh, a common application, if you were in G again, if you were playing uh, at the top of a blues progression, the D chord, uh, in a 1-4-5, uh, G, C, D uh, progression, uh, a D seventh is available by lowering the E's and keeping your foot on the B pedal. Now, a lot of times with uh, the lower especially, you can get some nice effects just by sort of like throwing that at the beginning of something, just a little, instead of, you could, you could also do a, a climb with your tone bar, but those, both of those notes are being involved, whereas here it's just the E, and you can, when you're in the position we just discussed, three frets higher uh, on the uh, G chord, if you've got your uh, A pedal engaged and your F lever engaged, you can, low, you can release the F lever, reach down and lower it, come back up to a neutral place. So you've got three sounds with this string. That's pretty happening. The next knee lever that you can use is the um, sixth string lower and first and second string raise. Uh, there, you can get some unisons. So there I'm just raising the uh, F sharp to G sharp. Got a nice unison. Likewise, you're uh, getting a unison on the second string from D sharp to E. Now this second string, the way I have it set up, this is a uh, uh, not every guitar has this uh, change on it, but it's, it's pretty popular nonetheless, and it's, it's uh, really a nice change to have. I highly recommend it. Um, this string has probably the most uh, uh, options of any because you not only have uh, raising it a half step, you've got the open position, you've got your ha half step lower, and a, full, and a full step lower. So that's four notes that you have just on the second string. So, So that's uh, a very pleasant sound to have, and the combinations are limitless. Now, uh, the last uh, knee lever is right going right, and that lowers the second string a half step, and again, a whole step. And it, uh, there's something called a feel stop. When the second string meets the ninth string in the in note, they're, they're a half step apart. So you've got this horrible discordant sound, but then that settles into unison and together they go down yet another step. So that's, you know, basically the sky's the limit. You can use it in single note iterations, uh, or you can use it in chords. This is one of my favorite licks. By lowering and, and just raising uh, uh, and, and releasing, get these really uh, nice sounds. So quarterly and single uh, string wise, there's just tons of stuff you can do with the knee levers. And in combination with the pedals, it's pretty much infinite. So that's scratching the surface on what the knee levers do. Mm -hmm.